So I'm <laughs> Ashley and um, I'm sure some of you have seen me on Haley's channel. So this is our boyfriend advice video and I'm 16 years old, a junior in high school and I've had a boyfriend for a little over two and a half years now. So um, thanks for sending in questions and I will give some advice. So the first question is, how can a girl find out if a guy likes her without asking him or his friends? Well, my first piece of advice is, um, if a guy likes you or is interested in any way, not just dating, he's going to pay attention to you. If a guy's not interested, he's not going to pay attention. But don't assume that just because the guy is talking to you or paying attention that he automatically wants to date. Guys often have to get to know you first and be friends, so that's my first piece of advice. And I would say don't be like reading in between the lines all the time because sometimes it doesn't always mean that they want to date, but if they do have an interest in you in any form or fashion, they will pay attention to you. And the next one is, my friend insists that I still like this guy. Whenever I see him talking, laughing, and playing with another friend or another girl, I get jealous. Do I like him? Um, you may have some feelings for him since you did before. Um, I know the biggest trouble girls can get into with this is sometimes when a friend starts talking about you liking a guy. Um, you kind of fool yourself into liking them and feeling those things because... Girls like to talk about who they like and if a guy likes them, and so I would say don't fall into that trap. But there's a possibility that you may still like him, but um, try not to get too jealous. Girls and guys are always going to talk, but um, guys, if they like you, they like you, and they're not going to pay attention to other girls if they don't like them. Thank you to whoever says congratulations on my relationship. That's very nice of you. <laughs> um, I'm sorry yours haven't lasted as long. Um... As far as guys go that don't treat you right, um, I'm glad that you realize he didn't treat you right and I'm glad that you want to get over him and go to, you know, finding another guy. But um, confidence is attractive and um, guys like girls who have confidence. So don't be so hung up on wanting a boyfriend that you can't just be yourself and have fun with your friends. Um, Guys are nice to have around and boyfriends are nice to have, but they are not the most important thing in the world. And you definitely need to be confident in who you are and feel good about yourself. Um, as far as getting over a guy, um, I would say that, I mean, if you have feelings for him, you have feelings for him. But you need to take the time to get over a guy, not just be like, oh, I need to get over him so that I can have another boyfriend. Because... You need to take time to get over him and just take time to be yourself and be happy with yourself and be at a good point in your life in order to have a boyfriend. So if you like a popular guy and he only dates popular girls, how do you get him to ask you out? Well, um, I'll start off by saying guys are chickens and so a lot of times they don't want to ask you out because they're too afraid of getting shot down. But you can't force a guy into asking you out. And if you and him are friends and you talk and you hang out, then it could happen. It might not happen. Um, you know, just create situations where you can hang out with friends or in groups. Kind of like group date type things, but don't make it too datey. Like go to a movie or just go hang out at the mall. And if he wants to date you, most likely eventually he will build up the courage to ask you out. But, um... You just kind of need to go with the flow and keep it casual. Um, guys that are older than you. Well, personally, my boyfriend is a year and a half older than me. And guys who are older do not like immature girls. If guys are looking for a serious relationship, they don't want the gossip. They don't want the drama. They don't want all this girl stuff that goes on. And so um, I would say that... Um, as far as a guy who's older than you, just be mature about it, be friends, you know, talk to him about it. Don't, like, try to hint at dating all the time. Don't play the whole telephone game where you're like, okay, go ask his best friend if he likes me, stuff like that. Just be very mature about it, and the basis of all relationships definitely has to be friendship. Liking your brother's friend who's a little younger than him. 
Um, guys have a certain guy code. Not saying this could never happen, but guys do have a guy code where they don't date the brother's sister. Some guys uh, do break the guy code and some guys are okay with it. But I would say talking to him when he's over at your house is always good, but don't be too creepy about the whole dating thing. Um, maybe ask your brother, talk to your brother about it if you're close with your brother. You know, ask if you can hang out with him. Things like that are always good. Um, I sound like a broken record, but friendship, 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 that's a big thing in all relationships. And so I think just, you know, you have to talk and make conversation. And if he likes you, something may happen. And, you know, if he doesn't, then being friends is a good way to stay. This is a question I love. Um, being in scared to fall in love is completely normal. There's nothing wrong with you. Um, I was very, very scared of falling in love because I'd had my heart broken a couple times. And um, I was young, but, you know, it still hurt all the same. And so being scared to fall in love is really normal. Um, and I don't think anything is wrong with that. It's a very scary thing, and you have to definitely protect your heart and make sure you're with the right guy before you completely just throw yourself out there, but also don't be so scared that you don't put yourself out there because if you don't put yourself out there, then you're not going to ever experience what you may want to experience. And um, love can be a very good thing, but it can also be hurtful. So um, I would say if you're going to get into a relationship, take it slow and make sure that you know, you know him and he knows you and that um, He's going to treat you right, and I would say the best way to tell that is by seeing how he treats his friends and seeing how he treats, you know, if he has a sister, his sister, watching how he treats his mom because that's really going to reflect on how he's going to treat another girl in his life. How do you know if a boy likes you? Good question. Um, <laughs> I already answered this one. Yeah, kind of already answered this, but I will say it again. Sound like a broken record. Um, guy likes you. He's going to pay attention to you. Again, that doesn't mean that just because he's talking to you means he wants to date you. That could mean he's interested in being your friend. He's interested in, I don't know, a club you're in charge of. Something like that. Um, or it could mean he wants to date you. He wants to get to know you. But a lot of times, um, friendships do develop into relationships. And so that's a good place to start. And so just, you know, be kind and... If he likes you, then he'll pay attention to you, and if he doesn't like you, then he won't, and you just need to move on and find some guy who knows he would be lucky to have you. So, if you like your best friend's brother and they're twins, what do you do? This is a hard one. I've never personally been in this situation, but from what I've heard from other people who have been in this situation, it's good to talk to your friends about it if you can, and... Um, Obviously, you would need to talk to the brother and be friends with the brother. Um, but the biggest thing is you can't just ditch your friend for this guy. You can't just go with her twin and um, he can't just be your number one. You should probably hang out like all three of you together or get in a bigger group and she can't be a third wheel because then she's not going to be supportive of your relationship. Uh, your friend should not feel like a third wheel. You can't just dump them or else they're not going to be supportive of your relationship and that's going to cause a real strain between you and the person you like. So, you know, hang out in groups. That doesn't mean you can't ever go out by yourselves. It's always good to just have a lone couple time. But, um, you know, just be in groups too and be friends and don't make anyone feel left out or excluded, which I know is hard when you're in the beginning of a new relationship. So, I hope some of this advice helped you guys. And if you have any more questions or you want me to be more specific on something, then just leave a comment and I will get back to you as soon as I can.